The 60s were a time of great change for the United States. This was exceptionally true for the Clark Summit community. In December of 1961, a modern Chinchilla Methodist Church was opened on Layton Road. Soon after the Chinchilla Church opened, the Clark Summit Methodist Building Committee decided that their church was too active to be able to sustain church activity and construction. A new site was needed to meet the dreams they had. The building committee held a dinner in 1962 that invited the congregation to see what they were discussing. After the dinner, a vote was taken to see if the church was ready to move to a new era. The vote was overwhelmingly affirmative. In 1963, land was purchased from Howard Snook and his sister Romaine John and their spouses for $20,000. It was located at the corner of the Morgan Highway and Grove Street. But the building committee saw a time when houses and other developments would surround this site. With the land selected, fundraising went into high gear, and every member canvas was formed with professional pamphlets and marketing materials laying out the plan of the new church. In 1964, the Abington Heights School District came into being as the Newton Ransom Schools merged with the Clark Summit Abington Schools. Less than 10 years after opening of Clark Summit High, a new school was needed. The architects selected were the firm of Lewis and Berghauser. This was the same firm that designed the Chinchilla Church. They were also chosen to design the new Methodist Church on the Morgan Highway. Ground was broken for the new church on April 25, 1966. Excitement was in the air as the new high school and the new church took shape. The North Campus, as it was known, opened in the fall. Meanwhile, construction of the new Methodist Church hit its stride. The new building was designed to hold 400 students in the Education Wing, 300 people in Fellowship Hall, and 450 in the Sanctuary. The building committee needed to balance the needs of the church with the cost of construction and upkeep of a new building. Even though the old church held almost 700 people, it was felt that a smaller sanctuary with two church services would best accommodate the needs of the community. The hope was for the new church to be opened by Christmas of 1966. However, poor weather extended the opening until 1967. In northeastern Pennsylvania, this was the first Protestant church to follow the Vatican II design of having the altar at the center of the church. Even though the church was busy with construction, activity on Center Street did not stop. In 1965, Reverend Bert Sweet was appointed as pastor. Events continued, including youth group fundraisers, Sunday school, and the annual Festival of Light pageant. A cornerstone was laid on June 18, 1967. Attendees got a sneak peek at the new sanctuary. The next week, final services were held in the Center Street Church. People said goodbye to the stained glass windows, but they transported the red carpet and fit it in the new sanctuary. Also making the trip to the Morgan Highway was the pipe organ from 1923. On July 2, 1967, the church was used for the first time. However, there was much painting that needed to be done. The new church held a formal opening from September 10th to September 17th. Bishop Corson dedicated the new facility. In December 1967, the old Center Street Church was sold to a Baptist group associated with the new Baptist Bible College. In 1968, a Roman Catholic priest preached a sermon in the new Methodist Church for the first time. That year, the kindergarten class held a Tom Thumb wedding as a social event. The most listened to radio station in northeastern Pennsylvania in the 50s, 60s, and 70s was WARM. The couples class, formerly called the Young Couples Class, teamed together with morning man Harry West to hold teen dances on Saturday nights in the Fellowship Hall. The proceeds from the dance helped to pay for the finishing of the parking lot. In 1968, the Methodist Church merged with the Evangelical United Brethren Church to form the United Methodist Church. The outside of the new church was quickly updated with our new name. In 1969, the Clark Screen United Methodist Church opened up their new sanctuary. This marked three brand new United Methodist churches in less than a decade.